Hey everyone, Eric here from that. We've got another video for you guys today. Oh, what do we have here? It's a hard drive. You guys love our data recovery videos, right? Looks like we have it here. It's not quite the lab fix blue, but it is a blue color. Uh, this is one of those Western Digital external drives, and they have USB port for easy connectivity to your device. It's here for data recovery. That usually means you probably have an issue with the drive. So if I plug it in, don't think it's gonna work. We have an extender here, and we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. So I heard something pop up here. All right, so this is our disk management. It's our Windows disk management system. I don't know if there's, it's similar to what your disk utility is. It's taking a while. It says loading disk configuration. Um, so let's see. So we usually have our main, oops, I got this on my second monitor. It shows location not available. You can't access the directory, right? But what does it show? It does show that it's in, that we do have it here. It looks like it's a big drive. So it looks like it's a four terabyte drive. It's in a raw, um, data type format there. Usually raw means probably something happened, maybe it's getting corrupted, um, so it's not easily being able to be read. So for something like this, what we want to do is we want to move this over to our main data recovery tools. Um, we know these drives are a little bit more complicated to work with because you have mainly just like a USB type of connection. So let's go ahead, let's open this up here. And we see that this is like, um, it's a four terabyte drive. Western Digital, they're called a spyglass. And that's just the classification of the family of the type of drive that it is. We have videos talking about them. I always want to be really careful on these because, man, you can snap that USB area very easily. So take it out. We see. So it's a four terabyte drive. So there's a lot of platters in here, a lot of heads, multiple heads. And it's a very small chassis. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we just plug in this drive into our data recovery tools. Let's just use that the USB connection and see from there. So when plugging our data recovery tools, because this is a Western Digital Drive, uh, we see a lot of the newer Spyglass drives, they have an SED drive lock. So to do any more work with this drive, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and just remove um, the PCB here, and then uh, we'll go from there. So for right now, let's go ahead and let's remove the BIOS chip. This SED lock is a self-encrypting disk drive lock and what we need to do is we need to unlock it via the BIOS. So we need to remove the BIOS chip and then we're going to have to go ahead and unlock the ROM uh, manually that way. see it come up. What we're doing now is we're going to make sure that we, we uh, read uh, the BIOS and then we're going to go ahead and save it. Especially whenever you work with a ROM, you want to make sure that you have a backup of it. Okay, so we're good. So since we read it, you pretty much go in order. So we're going to erase this IC and that's going to wipe it. Now it's a big deal. That's why you should have both stuff backed up before you do anything because you're wiping it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now we need to um, blank check it there too, just to make sure. Now we plug it in and we're able to unlock the ROM that we saved. And then from there, we can just write it back to our original uh, chip and everything should be good. And then we'll go ahead and test it. We're gonna go open now our uh, unlocked ROM, write it back. So let's write it, looks to be good. So let's put it back and then we should be able to read this properly. Um, especially while putting it back, we always want to make sure that everything is perfect. You have to be really careful. You can damage the ROM chip and you can also damage right next to it is an MCU. On certain models, on certain boards, they actually do have like a BGA. So it's really easy for any type of flux or um, heat to damage the MCU itself there. And if you have that issue, then you're going to have a real fun time uh, trying to recover the data after that because then there'll be so much more work involved. But this one, isn't that isn't the case and we're very careful because we've done this for a very, very long time. So uh, we're just gonna make sure everything looks to be perfect there and we should be all good to go. So we'll just finish putting it back and uh, let you guys watch. Put it back. 
Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in. And see if we have access now. And we are able to start a utility. We don't get any more SED lock errors. We can see password information and all the drive information there. We, we can run a head map, and we also do see that there are about 10 heads here. And all of them seem to be healthy and okay, which is a great thing. We still have a little bit more work to do, but uh, we're able to do that. And we can actually see the data now. It looks to all be pretty good there. So we're going to go ahead and create an image of it, and uh, that will be your data recovery. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and doing a data recovery on this 4 terabyte uh, Western Digital hard drive. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We got lots of data recovery videos. We even have videos talking about this on the conversion of the PCB if you guys are interested in that. Um, more MCU encryption talks and just other stuff. So go ahead and check that out. Um, we also have uh, USB data recoveries to do SSDs as well. If you guys are interested in doing a data recovery with us, just uh, we have all the contact information located in the description down below. Love to see your guys' device help you out with a data recovery. See you guys in the next one. Bye.